All right, growth, mindset, math, panthers, math, panther, math, magicians, panther, magic panthers. How about that? Math, magic panthers. Mm hmm. I can use properties of operations to write equivalent expressions. This is all about the properties and uh, seeing if expressions can be equal. Ah, so let's talk about the properties. The first property we're going to learn about is commutative property. What does commute mean? Yeah, you might have a long commute to work or something. Okay, so, hmm, let's start with the word mutare. Yes, to change, like mutant. Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or the, the mutants on X-Men, they change, right? So it's about changing things, mutations, something changes. Um, hmm, it's come together. And, and interchange means you're kind of changing places, right? So we're going to, in math, that means if we have a 5 plus 4, can we change their places? Can we say, oh, hey, 5. Why don't you change with the four here? And somehow I connected these together. So we're just going to erase one of these for a second. And we now maybe, let's see. Let's try this one more time. Five. Okay, let's see if it'll let me do it separate. Hey, let's do four in a different color. Maybe that'll trigger it. And then we'll say plus. What if we, can we change their places? Oh, is it going to let me do it? Oh, yay. Okay, we've changed place. Five, you commute this way. You're going to You're going to change your place. And you're going to change your place. So commutative property means they change places. Ah, look at that. Commute to work. You might have a long commute to work if you commute to work at all. You might have a short commute. How do you commute? I commute on the train. I commute by my bicycle. I commute on a skateboard. I commute in my car. I commute on the bus. Something like that, right? Change places from your house to the school and back to your school from the house again, that kind of thing. Change places. Who's going to change places? Can we use the commutative property here? So just for a moment. Just for a brief moment, let's pretend like this isn't here for a second, okay? We're just looking at four and two. Can we switch their places? Oh, look at that smiley face. Oh, yeah, yes, it's a sloopy, it's a sloopy dog. Um, I digress. I tangent a lot in math. You know, tangent is about math. So, is that going? Is that really golf ta task? Yes, because our goal, if you remember, is the following. To remind myself, it's about properties uh, of operations, like, you know, add, subtract, multiply, divide, and equivalent expressions. Hmm. And identifying equivalent expressions. Okay. Let's see if we can get back on task here and go on, go on some tangent. So the question is really, is are these equal? So if we do 4 minus 2, which is 2, is that the same thing as 2 minus 4? No, that's negative 2. So we cannot use the commutative property here. It will not apply. Sorry, so commutative property does not work for subtraction. What about addition? 4 plus 2 is 6. Is 2 plus 4 6? It is. So here, commutative property does work. It does apply for addition. Can we commute here? Hmm. No, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 4 is a half. That does not equal. That's not going to work. Mm -mm. What about this one? 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. Commutative property works with multiplication. Again, going back to the objective, boom, 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 operations, which ones is commutative? There's one of the properties, commutative, and it works for, we said, multiplication and addition. That's what commutative property works for. What other properties do we learn about? I think there's a total of really three big ones. This is one of the big ones. Uh, oh, quick check. Hmm, which of the following can we use the commutative property? Think about it. Stop, pause the video if you want to. Oh, that was quick. You're back already. Well, if you said A, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, but if you said B, well, you're partly right because there's more than one answer. If you said C, oh, yes, you're wrong. If you said D, well, process of uh, elimination, you're right. Again, community property can be used for addition. And multiplication. Now, sometimes it might work with these other with a, with division and, and subtraction, but not always. It will always work, always work with addition and multiplication. So here it is. What is commutative property? 
more, more <clears throat> uh, uh, let's see, academically stated here, uh, you can change the order of the expression as long as the operations involved are either addition or multiplication. Again, addition or multiplication. Again, addition or multiplication. See, they just switched the A and the B. Here's the A. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. There we go. A for apple, a red apple. <laughs> B for banana. Just trade the apple and the banana places and you'll still get the same answer. Here's another you need example down here. 3, 2, 5 is the same thing as 5 times 2 times 3. Commutative, commute, change, mutation, change, change places. Associate. Who are your associates? Who do you associate with? People you hang out with? You're in a group. In groups in math, we like to put you in here. So here's an apple. Here's a banana. They're associating with each other, hanging out. Here's Mr. Hoffman. Here's Mr. Boone. And here's Miss Cabana, math teachers. Yep, we're a group. We associate with each other. My associates. Mr. Boone is my associate. Miss Cabana is my associate. Ah, hmm, group. See, we in groups with PEMDAS, we use the P. We use parentheses, either parentheses or brackets or I can't remember what these things are called. Anyway, yep, see, verb. Who do you associate with? Noun. Boone is my associate. Which one of these can we use the associative property? And if, this is really neat. If you look at this, really all they're doing is moving the brackets or the parentheses or whatever you want to call those things. See, it's a three, three, a two, a two, and uh, what color? Red, one and one. Same order, just the brackets have moved. See, here's the equal sign right here. So again, if you just kind of pretend like this isn't here for a moment, for a second here, we, what we want to say is if we move the brackets from 3 plus 2 plus 1, hang in there, here it comes, 3 plus, oh, let's, let's thin that out, that's a little thick, here we go, 3 plus 2 plus 1, I'm going to put the brackets in red just so you can so they can stand out like this, All right? If I move the brackets, numbers stay in the same place, we're not moving the numbers, we're just moving who's associating with who. So instead of three and two associating with each other, hey, three and two, they're they're a good. Let's let's change the group, change things up. What if two and one kind of hang out together for a little bit? Three's kind of like hanging out on the outside. Three's taking a break. Three needs some alone time. We all need some alone time now and then, don't you? We do. It's okay to have alone time. I think everybody needs it now and then. Just you know, a little break. So uh, was this going to give us the same answer? So now I'll show you reveal the big reveal. That's what the, that's all they did. See, they just moved it. That's all there is to it. Just move it, move it, move it. Ta-da! Will we get the same answer? Well, we do what's inside the parentheses first, according to PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Three plus two is five. I'm going to do both sides at once. Two, two plus one is three. Rewrite everything down in black. So this is this parentheses plus one equals three plus parentheses three and this is parentheses doesn't really mean anything now here uh and i'll say it it's meaningless because you know i don't have to tell anybody that they're meaningless but it's not going to really uh, change how we're going to solve this problem we're still going to do five plus one now if the plus wasn't there this might be a quick review is five two plus one is three so i'm solving both sides of this equation at the same time see let's make this thick so you can get what i'm saying here all right, so next, hmm, let's just rewrite everything down in black. Plus one, this is three plus three. All right, so we got five plus one is six. We have three plus three is six. So it works. Yay. Yes, we can use the associative property with addition. What about subtraction? Three minus two is one. 2 minus 1 is 1. Hmm, looking pretty good so far. Minus 1 equals 3 minus 1. Wait a second. Something's amiss here. Amiss means something's not right. And something's not going to be right because 1 minus 1 is 0. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So, And these are not equal to each other. So associative property does not work with subtraction. You like those sound effects? I worked really hard on those, so one day you too could make sound effects as cool as me. Just keep practicing, you'll get there.
Don't give up. All right. Speaking of don't giving up, three times two is six. Again, we're trying to see if, if both of these sides are equal. Mm -hmm. And this one, I'm just doing it this way because of the colors. It's easy to do. Same color, just two. Two times one is two. Uh, let's see. I still have to do this times one on this side. I still have to do three times on this side. Ooh, this is looking pretty good. Six times one. You knew this was coming, didn't you? Couldn't you tell? It's six. Looks like we have a winner. Yes, we can do multiplication. You can see where this is going. If we were to do this side, you're going to take my word for it. Sometimes it works, but it's not going to work every time. This actually might be one of those times where it works, but we're not going to get into that. It doesn't work every time. I can tell you that. So it doesn't work for division. It only works for multiplication and addition, just like commutative property. Isn't that what happened here? Didn't we say commutative property only works with addition and multiplication? Well, go figure. Associative probably only works with addition and multiplication. So which one of these would be the associative property? Pause the video if you need to. <laughs> oh, you're back already. Wow, about that. Did you say B? Yes, it's B. Well, how do you know? Well, it could be A. There's parentheses in A because we know they use parentheses, but it needs to have a set of parentheses on both sides. See, there's no parentheses over here. Let's make that red. Oh, it's black. Holy cow. Red and black make red and green make black on here. Let's go with red. Uh, red. There we go by itself. There's no parentheses on this side of the equation. So that's not it. That's not going to be it. That's going to be something else. That's going to be something we haven't. Well, we sort of learned about it, but not with letters yet. So it's not that is not the associative property we're looking for associate who do you associate with show you associate who are your friends basically who are you hanging out with property can you change who you hang out with that's associative property changing it's almost like commutative property and um associative property but we're not changing the order we're not changing the places of the people we're just changing the group the groupings that's all that's changing is, is who they're hanging out with so let's change who they're hanging out with we're going to slide. If we were to slide here, see this? Oh, it's not going to let me slide like that, is it? I'm going to have to rewrite it again. It's connected. They're connected. They don't want to They don't want to come apart. They've been together too long. So we'll try the, my different colors. This here, we'll do 3 plus x plus 2. And now I'll bring in here. This, here we go. Now it'll probably let me move those parentheses. Change the group. Now, if I move here, instead of three hanging out with X, let's have X hang out with two. See, I'm not moving any of the little terms. I'm not moving any of these terms. I'm just moving the, the parentheses. And did you, wouldn't you know it? They're the same. They're equivalent. See that? It's like the same. It's like, wow, that's it. So down here is the same too, but that's not, the, this is not the associative property. This is true. This is also true, but we haven't, like I said, we didn't learn about that yet. Don't worry about A. Just look at C really quick. We did learn about C. What's that called? Do you remember? Do you remember what it's called? There's no parentheses, so it's not associative property. Mm -hmm. Can you see what they did here? Here's three. They move three to the end of the line. Here's X. They move X to the front of the line. Here's two. Two got to move up a little bit. Two was at the back, but now two's in the middle. They just switched. They changed places. They, they change, change, mutate. Ah, uh, commute, commutate, commutative property, commutate, mutate property. Associative property. Here it is more um, academically. Associative property states you can regroup. Ooh, regroup them. Regroup the parentheses. So it's got to be some parentheses in there. As long as the operations involved are either addition or multiplication and still get the correct answer. Addition, multiplication. See, all they did was move these doggone parentheses. The letters are in the still the same places. A is still where A is. B is still where B is. Second, and then C is still where C is. All right. See? It's easy. Oh, by the way, I learned a new joke today about C. Oh, I think I just gave away the answer to the joke, the punchline. You're not supposed to do that. Um, why did the pirate... Oh, something about why pirates don't... Oh, let's don't like C or something because they're always lost at C. Oh, man, I got to look that joke up. It's so good. I think as I, Irissa told it today in class, and I done, I just messed it up. Okay, you guys Google it for me and tell, tell me the next time you see me in class because I got to just 
tell me the joke three or four times so don't ever forget it okay let's go ah distribute uh yes if you're in the giving mood sharing that's what distributes all about it's like oprah you get a car you get a car you get a car but instead of a car oprah oprah winfrey she yeah you probably don't know who she is so, um maybe you do she's she's pretty pretty well known uh, worldwide so you should know who she is to distribute uh, da, 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 distribute to give basically sometimes a teacher would say if you're in brick and mortar class i distribute give a handout to each student in the class so each person gets you get a handout you get a handout okay to scatter divide multiplication though there's only just well that, 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 that might be another distributive property but the one you're going to learn about today is multiplication that should make it a little bit easier so which one of these is distributive property of multiplication well first of all <laughs> We know it's not this bottom one because there's no multiplying going on here. But even if there were multiplying going on here, even if it was 3 times x, let's see, that's why you don't use uh, the x as a times anymore. We use dots because you can't say 3 times x. What does 3 times x look like? 3 times x. That could be 3xx. Is that 3xx? Is it 3x times? Uh, yeah, so let's just put a dot there instead so we don't get confused. So 3 times x... And I'm gonna put it right over top so we so we don't get confused. Instead of three plus, let's make that times x times two equals. Now this actually would be true, um, but it won't be distributive property. Uh, let's see here. This would be another one. Either way, it's gonna be um x two and three put the times in between so i have to keep changing colors you still get the same answer but that's not just your property that's just changing places what's changing well commutative oh you know commutative starts with c and changing starts with c but we're changing the terms so that could be confusing because with associative property it has met i could tell which one's associative because the three's in the same place yep you see what i'm saying the x is in the same place and the two is in the same place. The only thing that's getting moved here is who's hanging out with who. We're regrouping. We're changing the groups. You gonna be in my band? We're kicking you out of the band, number two or whoever. Or we'll put you in the band. I guess we're gonna kick number. Wait. If we start with this side, we're kicking three out of the band. Mhm. Mm so let's see. Oh, what I can do is I can erase. I can erase this and this, and put this and this in here. We're going to kick three out of the band. You're not in the group anymore, three. Uh, or just take a break. Three needs a break. So three, say, I need some alone time. That's nicer, isn't it? Than the, like, you're out of the band. I'm kicking you out. I don't like that exclusionary stuff. So we're going to say three, three needs some alone time. And apparently my, my, my computer needs some alone time because it's not cooperating. <laughs> um, there it goes. Yay. Uh-huh. And move it over. Ah, look at that. They're the same. Who knew? So this is not distributive property, even though it's true. This is what we call changing the groups. Uh, what's that called again? Who they associate with? Yes, we're associating. So X is associating with two here. So it's um, their equivalent. Associative property. I'll put, oh, this is commutative property. That leaves this one to be distributive property, right? But what is distributive property? What the heck? All right, let's get into it. That was the answer from last year. <laughs> oh, oh. So maybe I need to break this down here. Let's break this down, shall we? Distributive property. Let's go. This is a wink and a smile. A wink. Remember this? A smile. Here's the other eye, in case you're wondering. Here's a little tongue. Maybe put a little red in there. Okay, this is multiple again, this is multiplication. Division distributive property of of multiplication. So we're gonna multiply three times x. And that's gonna be three x. Dun dun dun. Then we're gonna do multiply three times two. That's just gonna give us six. And then, of course, we got to put our operation back in there. That's the plus up in here. And wouldn't you know, isn't that the same as what we just over there on the other side? I think it is. 
See if I can glare onto these things here. Oh no, it's moving that. Let's move out of the move that out of the way. Maybe I can click on this. <gasps> Come on, there we go. Oh, oh, don't flip on me. Don't flip out on me. Come on, I'm just trying to. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of distorted a little bit, but that's three, <laughs> three x plus six. It's the same. Trust me. All right, let's move on. <laughs> That's what distributive property is, a wink and a smile. There we go. See? And this is how it breaks down a little bit more. Four times, this is upside down, wink and smile. <laughs> four times two, and then four times x. Yeah, four times two, four times x. And this, is, this would be with subtraction in the middle. This would be addition. And to take this the, the next level, you would just oh, not do that. Here we go. Four times two is eight plus... 4x. 4 minus 2 is 2 minus 4x. Ta da! There is, it is again. How beautiful. How neat. Multiply a sum or, yeah. You can add or subtract before you add or subtract. See? Before you add or subtract. And that's what I was showing you here. Before you add or subtract. to get the products. Hmm. Oh, here they break it down for you. See, they're doing 3 times x, 3 times x. Then they're doing 3, three times 2, 3 times 2. Here's your 3x. Here is your 3 times 2, which is 6. Oh, identity property. You don't really need to know this right now. Only in the sense of it's not going to be the answer when you see it in a multiple choice question. But it's pretty simple. Identity property. Look, we're identical with a zero of addition. Here's the identity property of multiplication. Yes, if you take me times one, then you still have just one of me, right? Even though you end up with the identical thing than what you started with, it's still only one of me. <laughs> it's, a really, it's a reflection. It's not two of me. It's just a reflection, okay? It looks like there's two of me, but it's identical because it's a reflection. Okay. So identity property of addition is using the zero. Identity property of multiplication is using a one. All right. Which property is being demonstrated here? Pause the video. See if you can figure it out. Oh, back so soon. All right. I see a five, a five. Ooh, three W's here, but on this side, three W's over here. Looks like something's being moved around. Something's being changed. The terms are changing. Not the groupings. The terms are changing. They change the order. That's called commutative property. Next, try this one. Pause the video. I dare you to. Go ahead, pause it. Oh, you're back so soon? Okay. Uh, what's being changed here? Uh, the order? Is being changed? No. 7x. Oh, is order is being changed here. Wait, what is going on here? Now I am confused. This is different. Are they trying to throw us a curveball? Is this two? Is this two things? This looks like they're doing two things at once. Looks like this whoever they're associating with is different. Because here, 7 and X are associated. Here are 3 and X. So it's, there's definitely some associative property. But it also looks like they did some commuting as well. Huh. Definitely not distributive and definitely not identity. So it's, this is kind of a tough one. Uh, I'm, if, they had, if they're making you pick just one answer, I think what they're going for four is associative more so than commutative but it's definitely i think it's both you can argue with your teacher say um it <clears throat> teacher how dare you mark me wrong it's two answers uh, uh, teacher 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 how could you all right i think it's both but if i had to pick one i would go with associative because they're moving the parentheses and they're both on both sides. I think that they really wanted you to do commutative. They wouldn't have put the parentheses like that. They just would have did like this. They would have put 7 plus x plus 3 equals 7 plus 3 plus x. If they really wanted you to do commutative, they would have they would have put it like that. They would have put they would have wrote it like that. This would be a plus, by the way. It looks like I'm multiplying. It's just me being sloppy. Okay, what about this one? Yeah. Well, see, 
right away I can go, there's no parentheses on this side. So I can say, you know what, I think I could eliminate associative because the parentheses would have to be somewhere in here and it's not. What about commutative? Um, well, the problem with commutative is like, there's a 5x here, but there's sort of a 5x here, but where's the 15? There's definitely no 15 on this side. So no, I don't think it's com commutative. Of course, it's not identity. There's no one or zero in there. So it's got to be distributive. Yep, you get a gift, you get a gift, you get a car. And it's as basic as 5 times x, which is 5x. 5 times 3, which is 15. And then you got, of course, your plus sign right there. Distributive wins that one. Which expressions are equivalent? Let's go ahead and distribute, shall we? Uh, let's see. I think we're going to use some orangey stuff here. 3 times a is 3a. This is a wink and a smile upside down. 3 times b is 3b. Don't forget, we're adding these things together. Is that the same? No. This is not the same as this. So I don't think that's the ticket. What about this one over here? Now we'll do a wink and a smile this way. Wink and a smile. We'll put them up on the top this time. See, this is uh, 4x. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 2y is 8y. Y? M I C K E Y M O U S E. Uh, that's because 4 times 2y, uh, that's like saying, um, how, ma how many times do we have 2y? We have 2y four times. So we could do repeated addition 2y plus 2y. Well, there's two times plus 2y. There I have y three or 2y three times, but I need to have 2y four times plus 2y. How many two? How many y's do we have total? Well, here's here's two y's plus two y's plus two y's. But that's two, four, six, eight y's total, and that's how we got eight y up here. That's the one way of looking at it. Or you could just say, you know what? <clears throat> four times two y. See this again. We got to get ready, get rid, kind of get over this old put, and we got to start putting dots so we don't think that's an x. Uh, it's really just four times two. And then just put the y back on, right? Eight, and then put the y back on. That's another way of thinking of it. Either way, um, yeah, I think that's our answer. They kind of trick us, though. Man, look what they're doing. Ours says 4x plus 8y. This side says 8y plus 4x. But they're still equivalent because they're double property. So first, they're using distributive property. Then they're going to switch them on us. They're going to say, oh, yeah, yeah, we don't see this? We're going to switch them. We're going to take this little 8y here. I'm going to do it this way. Ooh, I think I can. No? It's not going to let me. It's going to make me do the whole thing. Okay. We're going to take the 8y. I'll just cover over that like this. <laughs> so we'll put the plus sign back here in another color. We'll put the 8y in another color. And then we'll switch them. What's that called when they change places? C commutative prop. When the terms change places. There it is. So that's that's the one that's equivalent. That's a little tricky. All right. So sometimes you got to, you know, take it to the next level. We had to take it to the next level and do two things in this one. So let's get a nice green check mark on here. Oh, a little lime green. Boom. How about a little bit thicker than that? Uh-huh. There it is. Next. Which expressions are equivalent mm, to that one? Four times. That's crazy. This this expression they have right up here, this four times but the seven. Uh, this is this kind of I'm gonna rewrite that. I'm gonna get into let's see here. Just kind of clean this up. I'll do it down at the bottom so I have some room. That's really four seven times y. That's so peculiar to me. Which is really just 7y. You don't even really need to put this time sign here. It's just 7y. You could strike that as 4 7y. 
And really, this is just 4 times 7y. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to move this stuff up for a second. Mm -hmm. So this is 4 times 7, 4, 7, 7, 4, 28y. That's really all this is. Oh, I see what they're doing. They want to see if we can do all the different steps, I think. Huh. So anything that equals 28y, we can pick. Oh, right away, I see a 28y right there. Um, I also see that a 4, 7y... Uh, oh, this so many. This is this is a tough question. This really, you really have to bring every. You got to bring everything into this game. Uh, you got to like be able to see that. Oh, seven Y. If you were to just grab onto this four here, if it's gonna let me, nope, it's not gonna let me. If you grab on now, it will. If you grab onto this four and just move it over here, then you can see that this one works. Let's keep going. What else? Oh, I think I see something. Check this out. Oh, dear. If we move this over here, on the, would that be 28y, though? Wait, what's 4 times 7? That does work! Oh, that's one another way to do it. You could probably do it with a property, but I kind of just thought about it a different way. 4 times 7 times y. I don't think it matters, because it's... Um, so anyway, 4 times 7 is 28, and you still have the Y. Yeah. Already been recorded? It is It is associative, if you look at the original one. And I don't know why I didn't catch this before. This up here is 4 times 7 times Y. So you don't even have to really do any of the, the math, so-called math. You can just notice that if you move... Uh, we're going to have to change the, the color on this a second. If you move that parentheses from the original problem, you can just slide it over and regroup. Regroup is who you're associating with. Well, let's have you four associate with the seven instead of the seven associating with the y. Now it looks like our original. Next, okay, uh, we've got four times seven, which is 28. We still got to multiply by 4 and by y. Oh no, that's not going to work because if you do 28 times 4, you're going to get some big number and it's not going to be 28y. There, I think we're finally done with this one. Whew, what a brain breaker. I'm already tired. Ooh. Oh, what's this? I'm going bananas. This is the last slide, see? I'm at the end. So if you made it this far, wow, you're amazing. Um, let's see. Bananas. How many bananas do we have? We want everything that's equal to four bananas. Well, here's one banana plus two banana plus three banana plus four banana. Guess what? 4B. What do we have here? Three bananas plus one banana. Where's the one? It's an invisible one. Invisible one, where are you? We need you. There you are. Because, I, I mean, think about it. How many bananas do you have here? How many bees? That's just one bee, right? What about here? That's also one bee. We don't always write the one down. But anyway, it's still going to be four bananas. Oh, and of course, you get the hang of this, right? Two bananas plus two bananas is four bananas. Look at this. And then four, wait a minute, four plus one banana. Well, whatever that four is, you can't, like I said, these are not like terms. These terms are not alike. See, these terms are alike. They're bananas with bananas, bananas with bananas, <gasps> bananas, 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 bananas. These, th this is not banana. This is banana right here. This is banana. This, not banana. So it's not going to give you four bananas. It's just not going to work. You have, you're still going to have one banana at the end. Dun. I'm here. You're going to multiply a banana times a banana. That doesn't really... It's not going to give you four bananas when you're done. Uh, I don't know how to explain that mathematically profoundly at the moment. Well, it's just trust me, that's not it. But here, this is two times, wink and a smile, right? Wink. Two bananas. You can do that. You can multiply them. How do, how do, you, how do you figure, Mr. Hoffman? How come we can't? You said you couldn't multiply over here, right? So this is how we're feeling right now, Mr. Hoffman. I don't get it. 
Um, like I said, I can't explain this one at the moment. <laughs> Uh, because oh I know why because this this is just a banana times a banana this is two times something that has bananas so if you do one because identity oh the identity property is coming into play one times one banana equals one banana two times one banana equals two bananas right because you have it twice if you have one banana times two you multiply your banana. You have twice the amount of bananas. What's twice the amount of one banana? Twice the amount of one banana is two bananas. What's twice the amount of two bananas? Well, if you have two bananas, multiply it by two. Now you have two times as many bananas. That's four bananas. There. See? I think it I think it makes sense now. I hope so. I don't know how many how much bananas cost. Four bananas would be a lot of sense, though. I hope it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so that's four bananas. We still have to put our operation in there. See, plus, plus. Now we have to multiply that last section out there, which is two times one banana, which we already kind of did that, right? That's going to be two bananas. And in the end of the day, at the end of the night, end of the year, whatever, two, four bananas plus two bananas is six bananas, and that does not equal the four bananas they want us to find. So at least we know how to do it. Oh, what about this one, though? I think I see something coming. Do you? Do you see it coming? I think you do. What's 2 times B? 2 times 1 banana. If you have 1 banana, you have twice as many. Now you're going to have 2 bananas. Let's put that plus sign in there. Plus, plus. Okay, now we have 2 bananas times 1 banana again. Ooh, 2 bananas. Well, I'll be darned. That looks familiar. That's going to be a total of... Four bananas, two bananas, plus two bananas, four bananas. Okay, ooh, this is interesting. First, we're going to do, let's do what's inside the parentheses, which is just two bananas plus one banana. Two bananas plus one banana is a three bananas. We still have a parentheses here. We still have everything. I usually do black, but I was already in black. B plus two. Ah, now we've, according to PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Oh, uh, there's, we got to do parentheses inside the parentheses. Well, there's nothing really to do inside the parentheses here. So we're kind of done with that. We don't have any exponents. It would be multiply and divide in that order. So we'd have to multiply. Uh, it's it's going to be the 2 times 3B, which is 2 bananas. If you have 3 bananas, now you have twice as many bananas. Now you have 6 bananas and we still have the b over here oh so what's one banana the invisible one right plus six bananas equals seven bananas and which does not equal our four bananas that we wanted to get ta-da end of lesson the end you're amazing thank you for watching have a wonderful day bye-bye